Hi everyone, welcome to learn and build web application using SV.NET MVC and Code First Entity Framework video series. In this lab 8 video, we're going to see about what is action filter in MVC and what are all the different types of uh, built in action filters that are present in MVC. And also, we're going to see how can we create a custom action filter in MVC. Along with a, a demo, I will be covering all these uh, topics in this uh, lab 8 video. So these are all the concepts that I'm going to cover in this lab 8 video. Okay, so let's begin with uh, what is action filter in MVC. Okay, action filters are just nothing but a custom classes. This uh, action filters allows you to inject a pre or post processing logic before the action methods gets executed. Okay, so if you want to inject any uh, pre or post processing uh, processing logics before the action method uh, gets executed then you can uh, go with action filter for example uh, you uh, you want to authorize a person who is uh, using the particular action method so you can use uh, if you, you so you want to uh, inject a pre-processing logic before the action method is executed so then uh, you can use authorize uh, uh, action filter uh, this is for uh, this is the example for uh, pre-processing logic and uh, let me tell you one example for post-processing logic. Uh, say uh, the, the, there is uh, something wrong happened and uh, the error has occurred in a uh, particular action method. So for this, uh, you want to display a friendly error page. So what you can do is uh, you can use handle error uh, action filter so that uh, whenever the error occurred, uh, it will show a uh, friendly error page to the users. Okay, so this is what uh, action filters in MVC. It allows us to inject a pre or post processing logic before the action method gets executed. Okay, and this action filters can be applied uh, across uh, globally, and also we can apply uh, uh, on the controller level, and also we can apply across the action method level. Okay, and also we can also create a custom action filters. Okay. Uh, custom action filters can also be created by inheriting a class with uh, action filter attribute and we have to override any of the action methods uh, um, which are present in action filter attribute okay so we have to create one uh, custom uh, if you want to create any custom action filter then we have to create a class uh, which is inheriting a, a action filter attribute and in that class we have to uh, override any of the action methods which are present in action filter attribute and uh, after overriding the those action methods we have to define the required logic uh, that needs to be implemented uh, in this in those uh, custom uh, classes uh, okay so after doing this what we can do is uh, uh, the, uh, so after doing this the custom action filter has been created and this custom action filter can be uh, applied uh, uh, across uh, globally or uh, controller level or across action method level so uh, this is about uh, action filter in mvc uh, so next uh, we're going to see uh, uh, what are all the built-in action methods in mvc and also uh, we will see in a demo how can we use this uh, action filters in mvc okay okay now uh, let us see some of the built-in action filters which are present in mvc okay uh, so here we can see handle error is one of the action filter so what this action filter does is it handles the runtime error and displays the friendly error page whenever the error occurred okay so it's uh, this is a very good future uh, where we can uh, use in our application so also uh, this handle error is uh, is an example for uh, post processing uh, post processing uh, action filter we can say so because uh, whenever uh, we start uh, executing the action filter whenever there is an error occurred so we have to uh, we can uh, display a friendly error page uh, to the user because uh, it, it doesn't make much sense to the user uh, if we show the actual error uh, or yellow screen of death uh, is been displayed to the user it doesn't make much sense or uh, uh, user will be annoyed uh, by seeing those uh, messages so instead of that uh, what we can do is uh, we can use the uh, use this particular uh, handle error uh, action filter and uh, use it across globally in the uh, uh, in the application so whenever uh, if there is uh, any runtime error occurs then we can display a friendly error page okay so uh, let's see with the example uh, how this uh, handle error actually works 
okay so let us uh, go to this uh, application mm, let me let me and let me put uh, this action filter here and error input sorry and error action filter and uh, let me throw a manual exception whenever I call this index method I will uh, throw the exception okay error has occurred okay so now we are seeing uh, how, how we can use uh, and error input uh, and error action filter So here we can see. Uh, so here you can see that yellow screen of death or uh, all the error information details which is displayed uh, in the screen. So this does not make uh, much sense to the user uh, if uh, if uh, this application is uh, working in the real time scenario. It doesn't make much sense to the uh, user and uh, also user will be annoyed uh, by seeing this message. And uh, some people may also uh, make use of this uh, some of the details which are uh, uh, present in the application. So to overcome this, uh, we will be using uh, and error. So after using this and error uh, uh, action filter, we have to go to web.config file, and here we have to set it custom errors mode is equal to on. Okay, so we have to display a custom error uh, mode is equal to on. We have to set uh, mode is equal to on. Okay, here uh, it uh, mode uh, mode has uh, three values. Uh, if if it uh, uh, if it is on, then it will uh, display a friendly uh, error friendly error page whenever uh, runtime error has occurred. Okay, so here you can see a friendly error page. Uh, 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 error, error, an error has occurred while processing your request you can see the friendly error page has occurred okay so whenever this uh, custom error mode is set to on it will show a, show you a uh, friendly error page if it is off it will uh, show you the it will show you the actual exception whatever the occurred and uh, there is one more uh, remote only so if you use remote only then while debugging time it will show you a it will show you a, this uh, error detail uh, but when you watch the application uh, uh, into uh, into the website uh, then it will show you a, show you a friendly error page okay so this is about uh, the handle error action filter. So if we can use this handle error action filter across uh, 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 action method level, or we can also use across uh, controller level like this. Or also we can uh, make use of uh, action filters uh, globally uh, by uh, registering in the global.asx page so here you can see we can uh, uh, register here globally so here uh, you, you, you see in, uh, you, you can see here uh, globally this handle error attribute uh, has been uh, added so whenever there is a uh, error occurred at uh, any uh, particular controller or action method uh, it will be displaying a friendly error page okay so we have seen here uh, uh, it, it is displaying the uh, friendly error page so let let us uh, set it back to on custom error mode is equal to on so here you can see a friendly error page so you can see this uh, error page uh, which will be present in uh, views folder and across uh, shared folder here you can see error.cshtml page so it will be calling this error.cshtml page okay so if you want to see what this uh, uh, 
how this handle, handle error attribute is uh, what's the logic you can click on f2 and see okay so this is what uh, about uh, handle action handle error action filter so this handle error action filter is an example for uh, post processing uh, uh, logic and now let's see uh, what what do you mean by output uh, catch action filter so uh, what this does is uh, it catches the output of uh, controller or action method okay so okay uh, now let us see uh, what is uh, authorized action filter okay if you use authorized action filter then uh, what uh, it does is uh, it only allows uh, access to uh, authenticated and authorized users okay it allows access to only authenticated and authorized users to the particular controller and action methods okay now let's see uh, by uh, applying it in the our uh, application okay say suppose uh, if i apply authorized action filter to this index action method which is present in employee controller okay now let's see how it works okay so i will be refreshing the page now it will be redirecting you to the login page because uh, we have not logged into the application we directly uh, running running the application to the particular controller and action method so uh, the reason behind this uh, is uh, it's not been authenticated the user is not been authenticated and also is not authorized to use this uh, uh, particular controller uh, this particular action method since we have used authorized uh, action filter so it has redirected uh, to the login page okay so this is about uh, uh, authorized action filter so whenever if you use uh, authorized action filter it allows uh, access to only authenticated and uh, authorized users to the controller and action method and also here uh, if you want to uh, provide any roles so you, you can also uh, provide any roles like uh, uh, only admin roles etc etc you can also provide uh, whatever the roles uh, over here okay so this is about uh, authorized action filter and uh, now let's see about uh, what is a validate and uh, anti forgery token okay uh, this action filter if you use this action filter then it helps us to prevent uh, cross site uh, request forgeries okay what do you mean by this is uh, uh, i'll be covering this uh, cross site uh, request forgeries in the upcoming videos so what uh, uh, what it uh, what it mean is uh, say so suppose uh, the user will be entering uh, uh, some of the script related uh, information uh, in the text box and they will be saving uh, saving it into the database uh, either to add the uh, some of the data or uh, uh, to malfunction the uh, application functionality some uh, users may be uh, trying to act the application so in that uh, case uh, what uh, this validate anti forgery token uh, action filter does is it uh, 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 it helps us to prevent those uh, kinds of uh, f functionalities uh, th that is uh, th that will be uh, handled uh, and uh, it will not allow you to uh, perform uh, those kinds of uh, activities okay uh, and next uh, thing is uh, validate input okay if you use uh, action filters uh, uh, validate input then it turns off this uh, request validation and allows the dangerous input as i said if we, uh, it is the opposite to uh, somewhat op opposite to validate anti forgery token so it it uh, it, it will uh, turn off the request validation and it allows you to uh, uh, enter the dangerous input okay so this is what uh, some of the um, uh, built-in action methods uh, sorry built-in action filters which are uh, present in MVC okay now uh, let's see uh, how can we implement a custom action filters okay okay now uh, let us see how can we implement a custom action filters in MVC okay for implementing a custom action filters we need to create a custom class and inherit with uh, a action filter attribute to the class 
okay so let's go to this uh, uh, application and see where we can add a custom action filter so here you can see the, there is a filter folder which is present so let us add uh, one uh, custom class let us create a one uh, a custom action filter called as a log attribute so what this log attribute does is uh, whenever the error occurred in uh, any of uh, any of the action methods so i, I would uh, need to log this error details and uh, either uh, I, I want to or, or else i want to uh, send this as a mail uh, to the uh, mail as a error details and also we can uh, uh, log this error details in some uh, system tables okay so let me create this uh, log attribute as the name of the uh, custom action filter okay so click on add so here this is the custom class which we have created and we have to inherit action filter attribute okay so action filter attribute okay click on control dot so that uh, the required namespace has been added so here uh, we have seen uh, so we have created a custom class and inherited the action filter to uh, attribute to the class and we can override uh, after doing this we have to override one of the four action methods uh, okay uh, we can override uh, all of the four action methods or any of the action methods uh, uh, which are present in this uh, uh, action filter attribute so these are all the four uh, action methods on action executed on action executing on result executed and on result executing okay so we can see over right on action executed over right on action executing So these are all the methods which are present in action filter attribute. If you go to action filter attributes, these are uh, the methods which is uh, already present in this uh, in this class. So we what we gonna do in this custom class is uh, we gonna override this uh, any of the action methods, uh, action action methods, and uh, say suppose uh, for this log, log attribute to work we can uh, uh, inject whatever the logic uh, so whenever the error occurred uh, we have to send an uh, error details to uh, as a mail to some uh, user uh, or uh, admin or also we, we, if we want to uh, log this error details into some system tables okay so we can uh, write whatever the logic uh, related to uh, uh, related to that in this uh, any of the overridden action method and uh, after doing this uh, we can uh, insert the required logic uh, needed for the action method implementation to one of the overridden action method and after doing this we can apply the action filter attribute to the required action method or controller or globally across the solution okay so here uh, what we can do is uh, we can, after doing this we can uh, we can apply across the controller or action method can go to any of the controller and see here you can make use of we can use of uh, we can make use of this custom action filter okay so this is how uh, we can implement uh, uh, the custom action filters in MBC uh, I hope uh, you uh, enjoyed watching this video uh, please do subscribe to my channel uh, for watching more videos. Thank you.